Hello, I'd like to talk to you about the Helendron methodology, the methodology that we use. Now we have our materials, we have our trained teachers, but we also have a methodology. The main aspects of this methodology are repeated hearing and positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement is done in the lessons. Our teachers give your children positive feedback for what they do well and encourage your child to feel good about the learning. This is very important. But what I'd like to do is talk to you about repeated hearing. The, you have CDs. These CDs are meant for hearing every day. But not just once every day, at least twice every day. When I say hearing, I don't mean listening. I mean hearing. Hearing means putting it in the background, not paying special attention to it. It can play while your child's eating, playing, having a bath, going to bed, and it goes in. Now, at the beginning, the, your child doesn't understand what's on the CD. But within a month, two months, everything is perfectly clear and it's time to move on to the next CD. If your child is aged up to the age of six, this repeated hearing actually becomes part of the neural makeup, the neural pathways in the brain. Actually is part of the brain structure, the, the grammatical structures and vocabulary of English actually become part of your child's brain. Aged up to about six or seven, this is still possible, as long as you're listening or hearing at least twice daily to these CDs. Very, very important that these CDs or audio tracks are heard minimum twice daily. Now, if your child's aged 8 to 10, the structure will not become part of the brain. The brain's done most, most of its growing, but it's still just as important for the learning of the language. This way, it'll be automatic. The words, the, the structures, they'll, they'll be automatically memorised. And when your child comes to the lesson, all he or she has to do is learn the meaning level. And this is done by the teacher. The learning is very deep. It's very structured. And it lasts forever as long as you do your part, putting on the CD twice daily. Or the audio tracks, depending how you're working. Now, if your child's aged 11 or above, yes, your child has his or her own responsibility to make sure this is on twice a day or three times or four times in the background. But you also have a responsibility. You should be checking that this is being done, not just leave it up to your child. You're, you have a teenager, you have a youth. Yes, they are meant to be more responsible, but you want them to hear, you want them to listen. Why not make sure it's not just playing in their room, but you put it on in the background when you're eating or doing other things as well. Or checking that it's being done. Very, very, very important. Your child will learn ten times faster and with such ease and with such fun and won't have to try to memorise things. It will come so easily. All through repeated hearing, in the background. It can be put on when they go into bed. It can be put on as they fall asleep, it can be put on at any moment during the day, but it should be done. It's the most important aspect of our teaching. So, this is your responsibility. I'm leaving it with you. And I look forward to fantastic results. And thank you very, very much for being with us. All the best.